Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you a review and demo of the new Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Collection. I have the face palette that I've been trying to get my hands on for like the last month. Um, a bunch of new liquid face products, some eye products, some new lip products as well. So we're going to be applying all the products, some swatches, and I'll let you guys know my thoughts about it. All the formulas of the new products. So if you guys want to know everything about the new Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm collection, then just keep on watching. Alright, so I have a bunch of face products, some eye products, and some lip products. The eye products, I've just swatched them. I haven't actually um, tried them out yet, but I've been using the lip products and a bunch of the face products. So we're gonna start off with the face products. The main thing in this collection is the Glowgasm palette. I have the Lightgasm palette. Oh, I got all of this um, recently from Charlotte Tilbury. You guys know I have been wanting to try out this palette, but I actually didn't really know about the other products with this collection. So a little background about the Glowgasm palette. It does retail for $75. It's available online at the Charlotte Tilbury website on Sephora.com. And I've also seen um, a bunch of these products in store already at Sephora. So this is the outer packaging of the Glowgasm palette. There's two shades. I have the light to medium shade, and then they also have a darker shade as well. And then inside we have four different face powders, a bronzer shade, a highlight, a multi-glow powder, and then a blush. So I was really interested in this palette because just looking at all the shades, I thought that I would use all of them, which is rare in a face palette. Usually I just gravitate towards like one of the products. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all four shades for you guys. Here is the highlighter, super pretty. Really gorgeous champagne color. These are very like soft powders. They're not gonna be, um, they don't feel like super creamy and wet. They're definitely more like of a natural glow kind of product. Then this multi glow powder, this kind of like peachy shade. I would wear this, like I've been putting this on and I'm mixing the two highlighters together. But I'm thinking today I might just like diffuse this like kind of all over and see what that looks like. But I've just been wearing it as a highlighter. Then the bronzer is really pretty as well. It has more of like a um, more neutral tone which I love in a bronzer and it also has a little bit of a sheen. You can see it doesn't have shimmer, there's no like glitter or anything in it, but it does have like a nice sheen, which I love in bronzers. And then the blush is more of like a kind of like a highlighter shade. It's more of like a peach um, highlighter tone, definitely very shimmery. So those are all four shades in the Glowgasm palette, definitely. Um, if you're deeper than my complexion, I would probably say go with the next palette. I don't have the next palette to show you guys, but I've seen swatches and I feel like I could probably wear the medium to deep palette, but this one I think is best for like fair to light, light to medium. But if you're like medium to tan, I'd say go to the darker palette. And then we also have some liquid face products. These all retail for $38. I've worn two of these already, but I haven't tried this one. I think I'm actually gonna wear this as a blush. This is the Pink Gasm um, Cream Blush. So this one is actually brand new since I haven't opened it. Um, but you just twist this open and then the color comes out of this tip. And this one, ooh, that one is pretty. This one is definitely a deeper shade compared to the next one I'm gonna show you. And of course I applied way too much product, so I'm gonna be careful when I actually apply it on my face. And then this one is Peach Gasm. This is more of like a shimmery peach shade. This one's super pretty. So here is Peach Gasm. This one is Pink Gasm. I actually think I wanna go with Peach Gasm on my face today because I'm not like the biggest fan of pink blush. And I don't think it's gonna go with like the rest of the shades that I'm gonna wear. So I'm gonna apply the peach one in a little bit. And then we have a liquid highlight. This one is Gold Gasm. And normally I avoid very gold highlighters, but when I blended this out on my skin, it definitely wasn't like harsh or like too yellow. Um, this is definitely a very gold shade, very, very shimmery. So definitely a lot of color payoff with these products. They are a little bit pricier. Um, but they're definitely gonna show up on your skin. I'm gonna start off with the Glowgasm palette and I actually wanna apply this multi um, glow powder. I kinda wanna apply it like, just like all over my face cause I feel like if I just apply it subtle, I can see it gives like a little bit of a glow but it's not gonna look like too peachy if I just apply it um, 
more sheer because I was actually building this up like a highlighter but I feel like I could just kind of apply it almost like a translucent powder that has like a slight shimmer to it as well. Next I'm gonna go in with a bronzer and I do have a little bit of contour on my face right now that's like pretty matte and a bit more cool tone. So I just wanna warm up my face and this is um, definitely more um, of like a buildable color, a bit more sheer. And because this is a little bit light, um, I can kind of build it up and it just adds like a little bit of a glow. But I always go with a lighter tone bronzer because I do normally do like a cream or powder contour that's cool tone and then I do a lighter glowy bronzer on top. But I do love this color. I feel like I'm, out of the four products in this palette, this is where I'm gonna hit pan first because this is a gorgeous color. It's like warm enough but not orange at all. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the highlighter and I'm just gonna apply it to the center of my face. And then I'm gonna do the cream highlighter and I'm going to set it with the powder highlighter on top. Because the highlighter in this palette isn't like a blinding in your face highlight. This is more of like the kind of highlight I normally use with the center of my face or um, inner corner or like brow bone highlight. Let's go in with the cream blush. So I'm gonna use the Peach Gasm blush. And I am gonna layer this with the powder blush as well. But I just love peachy blush products so much. I think I could even apply a bit more. Even if I do layer both, I love like a really glowy cheek for summer. So the coloring of the cream blushes is definitely more of like peach with a gold shimmer, pink with a gold shimmer, whereas the blush in the face palette is more of a shimmer with a peachy hue to it. So it's definitely more of like a blush topper kind of product. So I'm setting the cream blush with this powder brush, powder blush. <laughs> And there we get to like a really, really strong peachy glow. It reminds me kind of like a Benefit um, Gold Rush. Definitely like super highlighted, but I kind of like that. We're gonna move into eyes and I actually might use some of the face palette on my eyes as well. So they have a new eyeshadow quad and I've only swatched this, so, um, but it's all shimmer. So I might use the bronzer as like a transition shade. And this is called the Dreamgasm Quad. This is $53. So these are pricey. Definitely all more like peachy tone shades. So I just want it to be like a very like fresh summery look. These are all four shades in the quad. Some like copper tones, more peachy tones. And this shade is definitely something that's like a little bit more chunky and glittery. Then they also sent over two cream eyeshadows. These are $32 each. They're definitely a very like moussey, um, more of a wet texture. So here we have Star Gold, which is the more coppery shade. And then on top of that, we have Rose Gold, and that's the more rose gold shade. So I might do a little bit of rose gold like in my inner corner, but I think I wanna stick to the powder. So I also just realized I forgot to put on highlighter, so let me go ahead and do that before I move into the eyes. So I'm gonna use the Glowgasm Liquid Highlight. I'm just gonna apply a little bit on my cheeks. It might look like I'm applying a lot, but when I blend this out, it just looks like very, very natural. Um, well, it still shows up really nicely, but it just like blends and diffuses into my skin. And I don't find that any of these cream products um, dry like streaky or too quickly where you have to like really blend them out a lot. And I don't find that the um, powder underneath moves or it messes up my makeup in any way. So I'm gonna set that with the highlighter and the Glowgasm palette. Sometimes I won't even like set a cream highlighter or anything. I don't find that I need to. Um, but just to show you guys more highlight action, <laughs> I'm just gonna use the Glowgasm highlighter. Just top it off, especially cause this is a little bit more of a subtle highlight. I feel like the cream underneath definitely helps to just make everything a little bit more dramatic. I really love the combination of these cream products because I never really do cream blush. I'll do cream highlighter all the time, but I never really do cream blush, but I just think it looks so pretty. Just looks like very natural, but still has like a little bit of a pop of 
color on my cheeks. All right, so to get started on my eyes, I'm actually gonna take the bronzer shade and I'm gonna use this to just apply my crease <laughs> um, because we don't have any mattes in the quad, but I'm sure I'm just gonna do more of like a simple kind of eye look. And bronzer in my crease is normally what I do on like really quick makeup days because I feel like it just makes all my makeup match. So I just dug my nail into the shadow, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply this in the outer corner of my eye. I don't wanna actually apply too, too much because I wanna keep this look like fairly light. I just want it to be kind of like a wash of champagne all over my eyes and just a little bit of definition in my crease, but mostly, mostly a more simple eye look. So I'm just taking a wet flat brush and I'm gonna use this kind of peachy shade. It is a little bit um, more glittery and chunky, so I wanted a wet brush for this shadow. I just wanted to go with the more peachy tone in this quad. Kind of tie everything together. I think the pricing on these quads are so expensive. These are like so little for 53 and to think like this is 75 and I feel like that is worth it for how much product you're getting, the packaging and everything. But this is so tiny, like you can get um, one of those like six pan eyeshadow palettes from Pat McGrath, which I would think is like comparable in like the general pricing of that brand. And those are huge compared to this. This is very, very tiny. And I do have a video on my channel, I will link it below, of like my favorite and least favorite products from Charlotte Tilbury. Because the eyeshadows, normally, I think that they're overpriced. Like, I wouldn't um, recommend purchasing this. It's definitely overpriced. Um, you can get a full-size palette, Urban Decay palette. It's going to blend easier. But their face products are usually amazing. Like, their setting powders, foundations, everything like that is usually what I love. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of eyeliner. This is actually what I use every single day. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. I think it's called their Color Chameleon. It's actually like um, an eyeshadow stick. Cream eyeshadow stick, <laughs> I think that's what it's called. Um, I use it as an eyeliner because it's super, super creamy. I'm just using that same shimmery burgundy tone to blend out my lower lash line too. All right, so I just threw on some lashes and then I'm gonna use the highlighter in the Glowgasm palette for my brow bone highlight. This is the kind of color that I love for a brow bone highlight because it's definitely more of like a glowy finish and not like a stark highlighter. And then for my inner corner, I'm going to use the cream shadow. This might be a little bit dark for an inner corner, but we're just going to test it out. This is the one in rose gold. Normally, I do love like single shadows, but you guys can see like this is so creamy that um, when I go to apply this, I'm not going to do like a crease color and everything. I'm just going to like dab it onto my finger and just like apply it up to my brow bone all over my eye. Um, I don't really like to use things that are like this creamy with powder shadows, sometimes I can get a little messy. I'm gonna keep that a little bit subtle, but it does add a pop of pink to my inner corner. And lastly, I'm gonna finish up with lips. I just filled in my entire lip with the lip liner in Pillow Talk. This is one of my favorites from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I've been doing this a lot lately. I've just been using um, lip liner and then a gloss on top. And then what they sent over are these collagen lip baths. I haven't heard of these. Um, they're like shimmery lip glosses. And the applicator is pretty interesting. This is the one I've been wearing. This is called Peachy Plump. This is actually the one I'm gonna apply today, but I'll go ahead and swatch both. The applicator is definitely like more stiff and not um, like flimsy at all. So it's more of like a plastic feeling. But this one is more like of a shimmery, peachy tone. It feels a little bit like um, plumping too. It's very hydrating. I've been wearing it that shade for a few days. I really like it. This one I haven't worn yet, but this one's a little deeper. This one is rosy gold, and this one has um, is a bit more opaque for sure. It's a really pretty color. Both of these are colors that I'd love to wear, but the peachy one, that's been my go-to this week. So I'm gonna go in with Peachy Plump. Yeah, it definitely has not as dramatic as the Buxom Lip Cream kind of plumping feel, but it definitely has a little bit of that plumping feel and effect. Really, really gorgeous color, really hydrating, really love this lip formula. So those are all of the products. I would say not that impressed with the eyeshadow, um, just because of the price point. Like this is so expensive, $53 for four shadows that 
they're fine but that's it like there's nothing particularly special about them i still had to like build up this lid color and wet my brush to actually make it look like shimmery so i would stay away from that i actually like the full size charlotte tilbury eyeshadow palettes a bit more than some of their quads a lot of their quads i end up decluttering so i actually will probably pass this along to my mom um because she doesn't like like super bold um eyeshadow formulas all of the face products i really enjoy like the creams I was a lot more impressed with these and been wearing these for a couple days, especially the cream highlighter, the liquid highlighter. They're all liquid products. I keep on thinking of them as creams because it's a very creamy liquid. It doesn't feel like you're just putting on like a streak of a liquid product, almost like nail polish, and then it won't move or blend out. That's what I find sometimes with liquid products, and that's why I prefer cream products, but I was really impressed with these. Really, really like especially the gold one. I haven't put the pink one to the test so I have to give it a chance um I'm just not like really into pink blushes I feel like it kind of clashes on my complexion a little but both of these are gonna be I'm gonna be wearing these a ton um I've been reaching for the highlighter just because it's super convenient pop it on you can blend it out with your fingers with a beauty blender and the blush is gorgeous as well I feel like these are really great products when you have like minimal makeup so I think these are worth the price I know they're like kind of pricey for 38 but I'm gonna get a lot of use out of those the face palette for 75 yeah it's pricey for $75 but their film star bronze and glow I think is like 65 let me show you guys actually a comparison real quick so actually I actually have both of the film star bronze and glow powders I really like these products I just love Charlotte Tilbury face products and lip products basically Everything but their eyeshadows I'm super impressed with. Their eyeshadows I just think are like overpriced. But these are awesome. I have the light and the deep one. Which one? This one is the deeper one. Let me go ahead and just swatch everything. Really recommend these if you guys want like duos. <laughs> really amazing, amazing quality, amazing formula. So those are both shimmery, very creamy. And then here is the lighter one. I use the lighter one a bit more. The contour shade is more of like a contour. Whereas the... Um, darker duo is a bit more of like a bronzery shade and then the highlighter in here is something I use for like my brow bone inner corner all the time as well so this is the film star bronze and glow the deeper one and then here is the lighter one you can barely see this highlight shade but those are the shades of the film star bronze and glows for comparison and then let me just swatch this bronzer one more time so you guys can get like a comparison to the film star bronze and glow yeah it's super different the bronzer is way more warm in the Glowgasm palette compared to the Film Star Deep and especially compared to the Film Star Light. This one is definitely just a bit more warm. They are very different shades if you guys um, happen to have the other ones as well. And even just seeing swatches, like I knew that I would get different uses out of the Glowgasm palette compared to the Film Star Bronze and Glow palette. So overall, I really like all four shades in the Glowgasm palette. One thing that might be a turnoff is if you really like like blinding highlighters, and I prefer that for sure, um, but there are still uses that I'm gonna have with this kind of highlight because I always use a highlighter like this for the center of my face, for inner corner, or sometimes all over my face as well. So just keep that in mind if you are interested in this palette that the highlighter is definitely not um, like an Oprah highlighter or Anastasia highlighter. It's more of a natural highlight. Um, and everything else, like everything shows up for sure. It's just going to show up a bit more um, natural, more of like an everyday kind of fresh look and not like something that's like super in your face. But really great quality, really great formula. I think that the price point, yeah, it's high, but I'm going to get use out of every shade in this palette. So really happy about the palette love the cream products or the liquid products that blend out like creams the quad not so much it's just kind of average the cream eyeshadows i'll use them because i have them and i'll use it as like a quick two minute thing but for like 30 something dollars i say pass on those and then i don't think i told you guys the prices of the collagen lip baths these are 35 dollars, so they're really pricey but honestly like I would probably purchase another one of these because the formula is very, very comfortable, hydrating, plumping, you get some color payoff. I think these are really, really awesome products. Probably some of my favorite lip products from Charlotte Tilbury like these and their lip liners. So overall, almost every product I love. Eyeshadow, it's not even bad or anything. I would just pass on it for $53. The Glowgasm palette awesome just know it's going to be more of a natural look if you want something um that's going to show up more maybe go with the deeper palette even if you have a lighter complexion but also if you have like more of a light to fair complexion 
The light palette I think will show up a lot more pigmented on you compared to me, but overall happy with the palette, happy with almost everything in this collection. Everything is available on the Sephora website, so I will have all the products listed below, but that's going to be everything for today's video. Definitely let me know if you guys purchased anything from this collection in the comments below, and if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.